Hi everyone, Damsels and DIY here. Now, do you ever have trouble with your art supplies just getting all over the place? Well, today we're gonna make that a little easier for you because we are gonna be making these awesome art pouches. So, let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a sewing machine, scissors, pins, a measuring tape or 12 inch marked piece of wood, fabric marking tool, a hot glue gun, silicone mat, optional, home decor fabric or other stiff fabric like denim, two zippers to match the length of your bags, and sewing thread. Take your art supplies and determine how large you need your art tool bag to be. This should include your pens, paintbrushes, X-Acto blades, erasers, etc. We recommend that you make this bag slightly larger than you think it needs to be. Once you've figured out how large you want the bag to be, Cut out a rectangle to match those measurements that is half an inch larger on each size than your decided measurements. After that, take the longer measurement you decided and one quarter of your shorter measurement to make a rectangle out of those measurements. Now add one half inch to all sides and cut this piece out. Last, take the longer measurement again and three quarters of your shorter measurement, add a half inch to all sides and cut this piece out as well. Now you should have three rectangular shapes ready for sewing. Zigzag stitch all of the three pieces before putting your bag together. This will prevent any fraying and also make the build more professional. Better yet, if you have a serger, serge all of the edges instead. Take your one quarter and three quarter measurement pieces and pin them to your zipper with right sides together. Make sure you put your zipper foot on your machine and then sew each piece to the zipper as close as you can while maintaining a straight line. Don't worry if your zipper is too long, we'll get to that soon. Now flip your pieces over, press the seams down, and then top stitch each piece 1 8 to 1 quarter inch from the seam along the zipper line. This will permanently press these edges down to give your bag a sturdy and professional look. If your zipper is too long, this is the right time to address it. Go to the end that you will be trimming your zipper on and very carefully and slowly stitch back and forth over the zipper, quarter of an inch away from the edge of the piece. If you are too afraid to do this with your machine, you can do this with hand stitching instead. This should secure your zipper pieces together temporarily while you cut your zipper. Now take your shears or craft scissors and carefully cut your zipper off along the edge. Plug in your hot glue gun and let it heat up. Once it is ready to go, use a little hot glue along the edge of the zipper to seal the two edges together permanently. Once that is done, you can pin your zipper piece and your back pouch pieces together so that they are ready for sewing. I also recommend that before you sew the pieces together, you unzip your zipper just a little so it is easier to turn your pieces inside out later. Now, with your right side spin together, sew all the way around your pouch using your half inch seam allowance. Be careful as you go over your zipper sections. Now take your scissors and trim all the way around the seam to a quarter of an inch while missing the zipper portion. After that, carefully zigzag stitch the edges. If you have a serger, this can all be done in one step. Now unzip your bag zipper and turn it inside out. Now you can fill it with your pins, brushes, and other loose art tools. To make your bigger bag, just follow all these steps again. Make it large enough to fit your tool pouch as well as your drawing pads, journals, and colored pencil kits. As before, make it slightly larger than you think it needs to be. These are great gifts for artists. Messy people. Yeah. <laughs> makes it really easy to organize loose supplies and then you can also have an extra container that gets all of your things like notebooks and pencils. If you have all of these things together in one of these nice big bags, you can easily throw these into a backpack and go on the road to take your art elsewhere. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let us know what you're going to be putting inside your art kit. <laughs> if you let us know, we'll choose our favorite comment and send you a bag of beads. Also, if you want, you can go ahead and hashtag damsels and DIY on Instagram and let us know what you think. Have a great day and we will see you next time. Thank you.